Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again. Today I've got a short video demonstration for you that will demonstrate how to add disclaimer, terms and policy page on your Wix landing page. So we've got a another tutorial on the channel which will demonstrate a little bit more detail on how to draft a privacy policy and how to add that. But it's a very um, similar kind of process. You know, your policy should be written in whatever software or program that you need um, and that should be drafted but obviously before this kind of process can take place so this is going to assume that you've already got a disclaimer terms and conditions and, and policy page um, it, and you know you you just add it as a page basically to your site it's as simple as that so if you go into the pages menu and hit add page there's no real um, sort of rules when it comes to you know how that's formatted it's usually just a block of text um it's very rare that you know you'd you'd find images on a policy page um or a terms and conditions page it, it is usually just you know sort of solid what looks like an essay really um so you could use a template which most resembles that i mean have a browse and, and have a look and see what's there but that looks good enough to me it's kind of formatted the way i need it to so if I added that page, which is actually a template for a CV, um, however, we can kind of retrofit this to suit our policy. And I'll just label that as policy like that. Now, you know, if you want to create this as a landing page for your site, then you could literally just, you know, set that as the home page. You know, you could, um, on when you've got the page selected on these three little dots on the right hand corner if you hit them and you can literally set it as a home page there that'll make it the landing page of your site you know so whatever um policy you have you just need to sort of paste it in here format it accordingly um and you can do that you know give it a title and then click on the text box if you double click in there it's all selected by default and you could just delete that and then paste your policy in for example um I'll just add a little bit of text for now, and then that would be the landing page for your site then. So, um, you know, the the page that people first arrive to when they go to your website address, that would be the policy page. Um, most of the time, it's traditional that the policy page or the terms and conditions or um, any disclaimers or anything like that won't be shown in a menu for a website. So it's it's not traditional to have it selectable on a menu what you'd usually find is that you'd see it in the footer of the site as just a text link to do that um, if you just add an element add some text any of these will work you can just drag that and drop it into the actual footer there if I just type there you know just policy or it could be uh, terms and conditions or anything like that if I give that a double click if um, you've clicked into a text box and you need to select the text very quickly all in one go, just hit Control and A or Command and A on a Mac. I'll give that a black color so we can see it against the lighter background. So once you've got you know a little bit of text in there with a link, um, with a description on what you'd need, all you need to do then is link it. Um, if you click those the button with the two little chain symbols on it and then you want to link it to a page which we've just created in your website that's selected by default as the second on the list and then choose that page to be your policy page okay, so I've got a, a fair few pages on my website if I can find that is there and then you can decide whether to open it in a new window or current window etc and done and that's normally how you'd link users of your site to your policy terms and conditions and disclaimers they'd normally be found in a footer like that if you'd like to do that um you can then remove this policy page from your menu and again it's the three little dots to get at the settings for it and then just select hide like that so that will actually take it out of the menu of the site and then have it just accessible through the footer here um so it's, it's up to you really how to format your site and obviously in where to place your policy it could be the home page um, or you could maybe link to it from the home page you know maybe have a, a tax link like I've just shown you there and traditionally it's normally found in the footer and that concludes our video tutorial
If you want to get traffic and sales to your website for free, then be sure to click the link in the description below. I've dropped a link where you can get unlimited free Google ads to drive traffic and sales to your website. It's 100% free and very easy to do. It's also completely legal for those of you who might be wondering. So if you need free traffic and sales to your website, claim your free ads down below. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, give us a subscribe and like the video. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, leave them as a comment below as well. Thank you very much.